Good morning. We are morning. back in the kitchen, and this is episode 50. I know. Who would have thought it would have lasted that I long? I did. I certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our golden episode, so we're going to talk a little bit about other shows and some memories, but in the meantime, you're going to make me one of my most favorite things. Mm. Um, several years ago, we used to get this, it's called Shrimp Cargo at Callaway's, which is a long-gone restaurant. And one year on my birthday, my dad, who had forgotten it was my birthday, had scheduled a surgical procedure, and I was gone all day in, down in Detroit and by the time I got home. And I was so depressed, and I came home, and he had gone up to Callaway's and had Gary prepare this so that he could have it for me for when I got home, which was so sweet. Yes. And since then, he figured out how to make it himself. So this is something you do. And for those of you who don't remember Callaway's, it's that big hole and pile of rumble <laughs> next to Tractor Supply right now. It was recently torn down just before this episode was taped. That's right. That's the end of an era. I mean, I realized mm. the building was in bad shape, but architecturally, it was. we didn't have anything like it. No, no, we didn't. All right, well, you need garlic. I so need I'll, garlic. I'll so. chop for you. So here we have, wait a minute. What? We have fresh bulb of garlic. Head of garlic. Head of garlic. Bulb of garlic. I don't know. All right, and I'm going to try to minimize the debris field. Oh, okay, that's you no fun. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me move the butter. That's no fun. Look at that. She put this because she doesn't want it to get messy, but I think... Chris, honey, I, I, don't, I just don't want to clean up. Honey. Oh, fine. Garlic I guess I can just... Everywhere. You know, you just smash it just like that. You take out all your aggression. Oh, see, one escaped. So you want to get that garlic smashed and get out these nice pieces here, and then you want to peel each one. Which takes a long time, and I don't want to bore you by doing it on camera. I'll do it. So, I'll do it yeah. while you're doing that. <laughs> All right. So start talking about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Well, basically, we've got some escargot dishes here. <clears throat> escargot, for those of you who don't know, is a dish the French prepare involving snails. Well, that's disgusting, as are the French. So we're not going to make escargot. We're going to make shrimp cargot, which basically uses the same dish. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of butter, melted butter, so we can see. Let me show you at home. Here's our melted butter. Oh, look at that. Mmm, you can feel my arteries clogging right now. And that's my wife chopping the garlic. How fine do you want it? Ah, oh, very fine. So we're going to put a little bit of garlic in each of the holes here. Is that creamy enough? I think so. I mean, I melted it, but I didn't know if it sat up a little bit. Oh, no, it's fine. It's going to melt again. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Just a little bit. You want to kind of half fill these. I got these at uh, a place at Somerset. Most um, gourmet kitchen type cooking type places will have escargot dishes or you can order them online since that seems to be the trend. You went out in a snowstorm when you had the flu to find those for me. I did, I did. So we filled each one with a little bit of butter. Now we're going to put some chopped garlic in. How's that chopped garlic coming? Ah. <sighs> I Look at that garlic. Isn't that great? Mm, beautiful. You know, so, I was talking to Kyle the other day about this episode, and we were talking about this is number 50, yes. which is amazing. So I went through and looked at all the other episodes, and to pick out a favorite moment is impossible. Mm -hmm. Well, for, I would think any the top five. I would think any moment, any show I was on would be the best shows <laughs> yes. they had. Yes, indeed. Like when you're making comments like, yeah, I'll come back if you're still here. We are back in Connie's Kitchen at Treetop Lodge for episode 40. Wow. And you promised you would come back every yes, 10 episodes and you're here. Yes, I So today... I'm I sorry. didn't think it would last that long in my defense. No. The show or you? <laughs> well, moving on. No. <laughs> well, that's just and then, of course, the famous, flippant. The, the famous lobster shot, you know. Well, you just kind of... The claws, usually you can use a cracker or I've used a meat ballot and today I'm using the claw hammer. Just kind of a little tap like that and see we've already made a mess. I'll hear about that later. Oh, yes, hi, how you doing? <laughs> so oh, Kyle, yes. when he edits this, is going to go through and pull out some some clips from different shows where... Oh, I thought he was just going to pull out things I said that might offend audience members well, that too. or things. that too. Like that comment about the French. Is a dish the French prepare involving snails? Well, that's disgusting, as are the French. So, we're, <laughs> But I think most of us can agree we don't like the French, so... I'm Italian. There's a natural uh, dislike there because the French think they have better wine and better food and everybody knows the Italians have the best wine and food. And we're not so apt to surrender. You are just indeed. Switch, just switch sides. You are indeed. 
an equal opportunity offender, darling. Thank you. Yes. Are you done with this? Yes. Okay. So now each of the escargot holes or shrimp cargo holes, we have our butter and our garlic. Can I smell it? Yes, you can smell it. You want to wipe your hand? You got garlic on your hand. Okay, I will wipe my hand while she smells. Well, I'm, I, I smell everything. I just experience of all the different things going mm. together. Let me take the butter away out of your way. Yes. Anything I can do. So to now we're going to take, we have some uh, raw shrimp. It's been peeled and deveined. And for those of you who don't know what that means, that means the shell has been taken off the shrimp and there's a little vein that goes through and that's where the poop is. So you kind of want to take that vein out because really you don't want to eat poop. We actually discussed that on another show. Terry oh. deveined shrimp for me here one okay. day. Well, I bought this already peeled and deveined because I don't want to do all that work. <laughs> so basically... And then he rinsed them down and patted them dry. Rinsed them, patted them. So now we're going to take a little bit of uh, some cream cheese here. Oh, and I got cream cheese with chive and onion. And we're going to put it on top of the shrimp, just a little bit. And we're going to put the shrimp in the hole. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep I'm doing that. Don't need this. There we go. Nice, nice smear of cream cheese. Just like it's a little bagel from the sea. <laughs> there we go. Now remember, this is the guy that I told you when we first met had no interest in seafood whatsoever. Nope, none. Now I love it. Now he's cooking lobsters and mussels and shrimps and everything else. All right, so we're going to put that in. we got two more to go on I've this I've already one. started the broiler because this, this is going to go under the broiler because the shrimp doesn't take but a couple minutes. Yeah, we're just dropped like, it. waiting for everything to... Well, in this yeah. one, the, shrimp, the shrimp's going to go on top of it. <laughs> but you should, put the, have, you should put them down with the cream cheese on top of the shrimp face up. I'm having a little difficulty there, but there. So now I'll take another napkin. And you can put whatever cheeses you like on top. I like Kasiri cheese normally. That's a goat cheese. That's good. Or you can use what I've got a mixture here today of, we've got some shredded white Wisconsin sharp cheddar and some plain Havarti cheese. And that's nice because the Havarti is <coughs> kind of sharp, but still got that buttery texture. And mm -hmm. then the Wisconsin dry is dry. So, nice and dry. So I'll sprinkle a little, start with a little of the sharp cheddar over each of the uh, shrimp here. There we go. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, doesn't that look good? And you notice I'm not doing a thing except standing here making comments about it. And now we'll take and we'll put some Havarti over and that as well. you don't season this at all. No salt, no pepper. No, nope, no. Nope. Fresh garlic, not... Just drop some cheese. <clears throat> yes, you did. And we'll put some more Talk over here. Life, ladies and gentlemen. I want to make sure we get plenty of cheese on there. It's going to be a nice goopy mess. All right, so we got one that's ready to go in the oven. This is what it's going to look like when you're done. Just beautiful. It is just beautiful. So now we're going to take this <clears throat> and we're going to put it in the oven you under the broiler. One at a time. Oh, you, you want to do them all? You want yeah, to prepare give me them all? Chance to talk a little bit. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it is your show, but... Yeah, it is. Huh. Yeah, it is. We've got, and, and we've got a lot coming up on the show. There's so many people that are coming to join us soon, and I'm really looking forward to it. So we're going to get the rest of these put back together, and Kyle will probably throw a clip or two in here for you to look at. When we get back, these will be ready to go in the broiler, and then I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next segment. So see you I'm in probably going to eat and drink. <laughs> it's not just a donation. It's a warm blanket. It's a bottle of clean water. It's a roof and a bed. It's knowing someone cares. It's feeling safe. You said today that's better than yesterday. Every dollar you can spare helps so much more than you can imagine. Please donate now to Red Cross Disaster Relief. Your help is urgently needed. As we recognize the service of America's men and women in uniform, Let's also honor the families who sacrifice so much every day. As the service member serves, so does the family. Do you really want to honor a veteran? Look for ways to support their families and thank them for their sacrifices. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out how you can help. Hi everyone, I'm Bill Lansdowne, retired chief of the San Diego Police Department. Every year we see new phones introduced into the marketplace and we can't wait to get our hands on them. 
but we're not always practicing smart habits when using these devices. Enjoy your smartphone safely and smartly by following these simple tips. Password protect your phone. A thief won't have access to your private information. If you have kill switch technology installed on your device, activate the kill switch to lock, wipe, or brick your phone if it's stolen. Know how to identify your phone. Write down your phone's make and model, serial number, IMEI, or MEID number. Install anti-theft software. Know who to call. If your phone is stolen, call your carrier to temporarily put a hold on your account and file a police report immediately. Please visit PhoneTheftFacts.com for more information about how to protect yourself. Go ahead. And we're back. <laughs> Chris is finishing up the last couple, and then we're going to pop them in the broiler. Isn't this gorgeous? It is. And wait till you see it when it comes out of the oven, and it's all gooey and browned, and it's just lovely. And what a great breakfast. There's lots of ways to do shrimp, and this is a good one. Yeah, it is. It's simple. Very simple. Mm. It's very rich. I mean, very we would rich. go to Callaway's, and I would order this as my dinner because it's that rich. That was some crusty bread, which we've got some... I forgot bread, so we grabbed, did some rolls real quick. But that and a glass of wine, and I was happy. That's Good. true. Even if it was just a glass of wine, she would still be happy. <laughs> Keep it up. So anyway, <laughs> while you're doing that, we talk, you know, I talk a lot about how at Christmas, Chris goes out and buys me all sorts of fun preserves and oils and jellies and things that I normally wouldn't buy, and then I play with them up here, and then once they're gone, they're gone. Well, last week, we decided it was a beautiful day, so we took a drive up to Bertrand and hit the Williams and Sonoma store. And I picked up a bunch of really fun stuff on clearance to play with up here. I got Irish soda bread, uh, chocolate chip bread, which I actually mm. made the other day for Terry and Tom when they were here. And I think the rest of that ended up at the studio. And chocolate cupcake mix. This is the kind of stuff I like to have on hand when I, oh, I forgot a loaf of bread. And I would have done that this morning, but didn't have time. So then I got uh, Spanish olive quick bread. So these are great things to have on hand just for that. You know, when you've got to you need something on the side. This, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's hot honey. And people loving heat these days the way they do. I'm wondering if someday, maybe soon, because I'm going to have a house full next week, Somebody won't want to have this in their tea, or I don't know, but it's hot, so I won't be tasting it. Do you want some hot honey on your shirt? No, I don't like honey. Honey is bee poop. <laughs> I have no desire to eat it. Okay, don't slam the bees. <clears throat> I don't eat anything secreted by an insect. I know, dear. I know. You know that. <clears throat> so, and I talked about this on the pantry show, too. I like to have some stuff on hand. Almost everything, well, everything is fresh, but then every once in a while I need to grab something quick. So this, will, this stuff will be fun to play with. I'm not a big bread eater, but this kind of bread... Just have a slice. Oh, maybe somebody will want the Irish soda with hot honey on it. Ooh. Ooh. So, we'll see. We'll find out next week. Because next week we're going to be really busy up here. Got the Philo, Philo, Philo. Philo people coming in. Philo T. Farnsworth, inventor of television. Yes. And so he'll, well, no, he won't be coming in. No, he's dead. But we have, we have people coming in for the awards and, <coughs> and I'll be hosting. So at some point, I'm sure we'll have a photograph or something to throw on the, ser the show here so you'll see, the, see how things looked. And I've got a wedding shower next Saturday, mm. which is going to be lovely. They, they wanted a fall theme. I mean, please, the lodge is a fall theme. And Sunday, we've got a big wine dinner. We had two more calls yesterday. Wow. And then we have another wine dinner scheduled for November 12th. So you can do that anytime. You can call me at 248-933-4579. She's got a new cell phone, so I she's excited news, yes. to use it. So if I don't answer you right away, um, my apologies. Yesterday I had my 14-year-old nephew figure it out and show me how it worked. Now you might think there's like no, a little I'm, too much cheese on here, and if you got some extra, just I'm throw in the it out. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So anyway, the new cell phone. Treetop Lodge Oxford on Facebook. TreetopLodgeOxford.com on the World Wide Web. And you can email me at stormy3958 at att.net. And that's how you get in touch with me. Check the Facebook page because that's generally where I post the public events. The website is just there to show you what the place looks like. We don't update that. There we go. But, well, those, are, those are gorgeous. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Right. Let's put them in the broiler. Pick up your tray. Mm -hmm. They're going to go in the broiler. 
Ready? Back up Ready. a little bit. It's There's be not hot. one bit of this is healthy. And that's why it's good. All right, we're gonna slide it under here under the broiler. Woohoo! Let that cheese melt. Now I'm and gonna let those little shrimpies cook. I'm gonna suggest, <clears throat> just so we don't forget. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna set it for four minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then well, you mm. can check them because if you say, "Oh, it won't take that," don't trust. Depends it. how much cheese and everything in the heat of the oven. I've done it anywhere. I'd say about six, seven, eight minutes total. What is your favorite meal to prepare at home, other than lobster? We'll take other lobster. Other than lobster. Uh, hmm, that's tough. I mean, I love the venison, to make venison steaks on Friday night for myself. Um, I also like to make mussels, which I've made on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, can't beat making veal parmesan. There is nothing better than veal. I love veal. Veal is delicious. And making that at home can be uh, just a, a, a truly great experience. I did veal on the show kind of a, more of a marsala like we did at that one dinner. Mm -hmm. No veal, you can't go wrong. Veal piccata is good, veal mm -hmm. marsala is good, veal parmesan, anything oh. with veal you just can't go wrong. I was going to ask you something. Mm -hmm. We've never done this but what if we when we ate this if we added capers to it? Capers could be good. Yeah I mean I'm going to try it that way once because be the good. salt and the bite of the brine. Mm -hmm. But uh, no basically at home we do try it. We're, we're not home that much together right now. No. So like I'll make something up and leave it in the fridge or leave him a note or he'll make something up and then he messes the kitchen up and then I clean it up. Mm -hmm. That is the natural order of things. It is a good little rhythm. When we first got married it was like, oh you're gonna cook, I'll clean. When mm -hmm. I cook, you clean. Well when I cook, I clean and he has nothing to do. <laughs> That's not true. But you're a very creative cook. I stand over your shoulder and am critical of things <laughs> That's you do. True. That is an important role. But you know what, that all goes back to what I've said before on the show. Sometimes you only have a half hour that day mm -hmm. to see each other before you go off to different things. And we do have fun, and that way it's not like one of us is stuck someplace, and, you know, we're together. Even we're if it's together. just chatting over, you know, making dinner up and getting things ready to go. And I think that's important. Same thing when, well, when we're grilling, you generally like to zen. You like to be by yourself when you grill, but... I think, I think the secret to any successful marriage can be summed up and just spend a half an hour together each day. <laughs> I mean, my point was oh. if you only have a half hour. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, it was, I was going to say, you know. Yes, and it's important to be a good listener too. Twenty-three and a half hours of free time is nice. <laughs> but I was looking back, and I have to say, I look back on the shows that we did again. We get a lot of comments. We do get a lot of comments. I had one, Can't print them all, but I had one lady who called her son, who I know, and mm. was very upset because I had done a show and seemed rather close to this guy. And she wondered what my husband thought of that and didn't realize that Carnacchio and Miller, that you are my husband. I know. So she was watching that close. We have one of those modern marriages where she doesn't have my name, <laughs> so we don't love each other as much. But that's a, that's a line from Scrubs. That's a line from Scrubs. Anyway. But I thought that was sweet, that she paid, was paying that close of attention, that she thought I was... I did. That woman, what you don't know is that woman actually called me at the office and gave me a private detective's number, too. Did she? I know. <laughs> I know. So thank you. Thank you. It was a good recommendation. I appreciated it. But it's, it's been so much fun. I was thinking back over the guests. I mean, all the way from the early ones when Pauline and Terry would come, and then Amy and, and Kula and Ginger with that banana. Oh, I will never forgive the banana. She did this with a banana on my arm. Can you imagine what that did? Mm. On camera. They can show that on public they, access television? Wow. I know. She thought it was a lot hilarious. more liberal, I guess. She, yeah. Mm. And then all the way up to the other day, we had Tom here from Access Vision. Came mm. all the way from Battle Creek, which is one of our stations that we air on. Mm -hmm. We have Battle Creek, Ann Arbor, Kalamazoo, <laughs> Grand Rapids, Lake Orion, and Monroe. Monroe. Monroe has just been added. So Hi, Monroe. Wel welcome, Monroe. Monroe. Cool. And, it's, and I'm hearing from all those Shout people. out to Fermi. That's right. right. And I'm hearing from all of you people. You've been coming up, you've been calling, and I think that's great. So we're going to check what's going on in here, and we're going to mm -hmm. come back, and we're going to... You, you brought a little surprise for our 50th. I, I think, did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did bring a surprise <laughs> yeah. for our 50th. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> I used to think news is news. It's all the same. But it's not. There's a big difference between local broadcast news and cable news. See, local stations are part of my community, connecting me to local news, weather, and sports on every device. It makes sense. Get the news from the people I trust who actually live here. No agenda, no bias, like on cable, shout shows, or social media. Just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local stations. Text TV to 52886 today. 
Earth Hour, a grassroots movement born in Sydney in 2007, has seen 10,400 landmarks, over 7,000 cities in 172 countries and territories switch off for climate action. Together, individuals and communities have built a people-powered global movement to create real change, lighting up homes and lives with solar power in India and the Philippines, providing families with fuel-efficient stoves in Nepal and Madagascar, and helping communities get back on their feet after Typhoon Haiyan with Climate Smart Boats. We have successfully banned plastic in the World Heritage Site of the Galapagos Islands, and planted the world's first Earth Hour forest in Uganda, a country losing thousands of hectares to deforestation every month. Together, we've made a lasting difference, but we must continue to protect our planet, our home. This Earth Hour, join us to shine a light on climate action. Together, let's change climate change. And two, yeah. one. Oh, are we back? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, well, this is a surprise I brought you. A little uh, Brut Cava, which is a Spanish wine, similar to champagne. Yeah. But not really champagne. And I love that with shrimp cargo. It is. It's very dry, very delicious, so very bubbly. It. All right, I'll pop it. Here we go. Normally, we don't do it this way. He's a little more careful. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, the pageantry. <laughs> and... Uh, a third glass. We pour one out for the homies. No, this is, we're going to share this with Kyle, even though you won't see him. Because Kyle likes to, Kyle likes to hide a bit. I had the glasses ready because I had a feeling you were going to do something cool. Oh. So I got red wine. See, set. I wondered why you had the glasses ready because well, this was a complete surprise I had, that you had no idea about. I had red wine stems available too, just in case. Oh, okay. Because I didn't know. But I knew you'd do something special. Well, I always you, bring liquor. Exactly. People always ask, well, your, your um, Bloody Mary show, that gets a lot of talk. People love. They've done, they followed your recipe and really enjoyed it. They have? Yes. They didn't well, feel good. the need to put a hamburger in it or something. Okay, good. stop pouring paper. All right. It's only uh, about it's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's acceptable. <laughs> All right. There's first, no wrong time of the day to, to start drinking. I want to give the first glass to Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Darling. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Mm. And to you, the audience, thank you for welcoming my wife into your home every week for 50 episodes. Okay. Yep. I'm so proud. This None of this would have happened, first of all, without OCTV. What a great organization. It is. Support your local community cable access. That's right. Um, Nancy, of course, Nancy just plain has faith in what we do over here mm -hmm. and uh, has supported us completely. Our friends and neighbors, our guests, you, the audience, are growing every day. We um, my amazing husband who supports whatever harebrained scheme I come up with. Oh, and whenever yeah. I say, I can't do this, he says, of course you can. Ooh. And to Kyle, because... He's shared all his expertise and creativity with me and made something that I love to do, something that I can share with you and you can enjoy. So to my wizard, and you're right, sometimes it only takes nine minutes to sparkle, but I can do it because you believe in me. Thanks, darling. There you go. Thank you. I love you're you. You're welcome. I took I'm the lucky, car to go out. I'm a lucky girl. It is beautiful, as you can see. Left it in for it was about seven minutes. You want the cheese to get a nice golden brown. We got a little bit of char there, but that's, oh, all, that's right. all right. that's all right. rest of it's just perfect. That's so now you just want to dig in and take that shrimp out. And, oh. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Oh, let's oh, see man. what that shrimp looks like. Now, you generally do your straight. I do mine with a little squeeze of lemon. Oh, look at that. See, I just broke the shell, and look at that. You got all this <sighs> cheesy goodness. And this shrimp here, oh, let's get, let me lift that oh. up to show. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it's just so goopy and delicious and so hot. And that's where the mm. bread comes in because after you've eaten the shrimp, you'll still mm. have cheese and the buttery, garlicky mm -hmm. juice. I'm going to step in front of you just for a second here and grab this caper I was going to try. The capers have disappeared. There they are. Oh, look at that. See, that's good. You can take some of that cheese and bread okay, or, I'm sorry some of that cheese and, and the butter, oh, butter. And garlic That's what I to say aha and it just burned my finger I'm gonna throw some capers in there mm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wonderful. Delicious. This is wonderful. Mm. So I don't make a lot of seafood up here. I've said before because a lot of people say that you know they're allergic in that. But if you ever want to come up and enjoy shrimp cargo, ah, this is so fantastic. Wicked. This is so wicked good. You want me to help you there? I'm a little there shaky. I'm kind of feeling emotional today. Here, do you want me to help you with that? <laughs> there, I got it. There you go. I got it. I got to grab some of those capers now. All right. Mm. Dip some of that bread now. Mm. Yeah. So we've had a lot of fun, and we've had a lot of fun with the unicorns. I just dribbled. A lot of people have really enjoyed our unicorns up here, and the unicorns have been spotted all over the place, all over town. And that was all Nancy's idea. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought, yeah, mm. unicorns. But I've had so much fun with it and uh, sharing that silliness with people. And you get to see it on the show. Mm. And so that's, that's been an awful lot of fun. Just grown-ups getting up. Mm. It's so good. Oh, good. I thought maybe you were burning your tongue. No, okay. it's just mm, grown-ups getting a chance to be silly. You should really let it cool just a little bit, but, yeah. you know, it's you can't wait. You know, it's hard to wait. It is hard because it's just... So say something wonderful about me while I take a bite. Well, you're an excellent wife, a wonderful chef, a community leader, a sparkling personality, a great camera lady at all the boring, boring Oxford meetings that she attends. So, you know, what, what left is there to say? And she loves to eat, as you can obviously mm. see. I mean, look at that. She is just piling that in. She when loves you get, her shrimp cargot. When you get flavors going mm. like this, and as I said, this always, when we have it, brings back the memory of the night you surprised me with it so unexpectedly after a That's really true. rough day. No, and you can't get this anywhere in Oxford anymore. Mm-mm. I mean, well, you can now because you just saw how we well, did it. Well, Free Top Lodge you can. That's right. Or you can make it yourself. You can come up here and have it. You don't even need a gift card to get it. It's fantastic. <laughs> yes. A little squirt of fresh lemon to go with those capers. Mm. Yeah, so it was funny because when I was going back through the clips, I had said at the beginning, we'll have to make sure that we save, like, a, have a gag roll of our mistakes. But then I insisted from the beginning that almost without exception, we just keep going. Mm. Three, two. Good morning. We are back in the kitchen, and I'm staying on schedule. <laughs> It's a tripod. It, 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 I think the closest we came to that was one day I flipped a dessert cup across the kitchen or something, but luckily it wasn't on camera, so it was with Amy Shadowski, and she and I just kind of laughed about it. And mm. Amy is actually going to be a mm. sponsor of the show here, and starting in a couple weeks, she's going to do my hair for me. So, we'll talk about that. Maybe I'll have her come back on, mm. talk about her shop, so you guys can get familiar with her. She does wonderful work. Very caring individual. Mm. And, uh, yeah. Are you getting hungry yet? You from cream cheese on your face. <laughs> well, I'm saving that for later. Oh, all right. Are you getting hungry yet watching us eat? Mm -hmm. mm. This is a great breakfast. It is. I think we should start every day like this, don't you? I agree. So what are you going to do when you come back for 60? I have no idea. At the rate we're going now that we're on schedule, it's going to happen sooner than you think. Mm. And we'll probably be into winter. Well, maybe into winter by then. Could be. So we'll have to do something on the grill. Could do something on the winter. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. I gotta tell you, I have so much fun. I always have fun up here, mm. but I especially have fun when you're here. Well, I do too. Appreciate it. Mm. None of this would be possible. None of it. It's like I said, when I, I have a bad day, you, <clears> s you say, well, of course you can, honey. Then you say, how can I help? And you always do. <laughs> so, from... Mm. Chris and I here in Connie's Kitchen at Treetop Lodge. Um, we're going to sign off and finish breakfast. And I'm going to tell you, remind you to be nice to one another, because I know you are. And remember the promise. And come back and join us soon. This was episode number 50. Golden episode. Golden episode. And I, I believed, but here it is. And it's we've come a long way in a short time on this. We have. We have. And so thank you all for joining us. We'll see you for episode 51 with Tom from Access Vision. That'll be coming up soon. So check us out on OCTV. And let's have breakfast. Yes, have breakfast. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs>